welcome back. This is Katie with The Great Sourdough Experiment. Today is day four and I have some exciting updates. Um, it is about 11.30 this morning. Yesterday, day three, I had fed each of the starters at about three o'clock. And today when I woke up, I found that each of these four starters is at a completely different stage in its evolution. So at day four, I'm having to completely rethink the way that I'm doing these videos because each of the starters is going to need a little bit different care. So I took some time this morning to just kind of calculate everything out and strategize for what I was going to be doing today. So first, I'm going to talk about what's going on with these. Our star performer today is the whole wheat starter that I had started out with uh, two tablespoons of whole wheat flour and a 3.5 pH lime juice and water solution. Um, this one looks like it is, it has doubled in size. In fact, it, it doubled in size in about eight hours last, uh, yesterday. Um, I haven't fed it until, yeah, I'm not, I hadn't fed it until about just now. Um, I probably should have fed it last night, uh, so that's the status that that's at. It's smelling pretty mild, but it's very bready. Um, the second best one right now is the rye flour. Um, it had been smelling uh, very alcoholic, like beer. Today, it very much smells like yogurt and not like beer. Um, it didn't rise at all yesterday. This indicates to me that maybe I should have fed it um, maybe twice yesterday and the um, lactic acid bacteria may have overwhelmed the yeast so that might have been my bad so uh, I don't know I'm just working with it right now uh, the next one the teff and water this one has um, a little bit of a sweet smell it seems like it's going well it has risen a tiny tiny bit but not a whole lot um, it seems to be going well. I'm just going to kind of stay the course with that one. Uh, the last one is the white flower starter, the King Arthur flower recipe. This one, it hadn't been going so well. Um, but when I woke up this morning, there's a distinct kind of yogurty smell, which is good because it, it's going in the direction that we want toward the sour, um, lactobacilli stage. All right, so here's the plan for today. Clearly the whole wheat starter needs to be fed. So I'm going to feed that right now. The rye flour, I think I may have underfed it yesterday, so I'm gonna feed it right now. With the Teff starter and the King Arthur flour starter, um, De Deborah Wink's uh, recommendation is that if your starter is early in the process, you should uh, weigh on the precautionary side of don't feed it too much. So in fact, I'm just going to stir these two up right now and not feed them and hope that the um, natural bacteria growth will um, just sort of do its natural thing without getting uh, interference from outside flowers. I don't know what I'm doing. So right now I'm going to go ahead and start with the feeding. Um, the one difference today is that we are switching from the lime juice solution to only water. So I've got bottled water here. Another difference is that I am now measuring out uh, the starter by weight. The new recipe is uh, two parts starter to one part flour to one part water by weight. So I'm using my food scale here to weigh these out. Um, I'm going to put two ounces of starter, one ounce of flour, and one ounce of water. Here we go.
looks. Right, so this is at about oh, the one third cup line. So when this gets to two thirds cups, I will know that it has doubled. If it gets to two thirds cups, I might feed it again. So I'll keep a look on this uh, for the rest of the day today. And now I'm going to follow the same process, two ounces of starter with the rye and two ounces of rye or one ounce of rye flour and one ounce of water.
different and this one also is about at a third cup and we'll see if it rises we'll see um, if we get any more uh, beer or yeast smells out of it hopefully that'd be nice and I may end up feeding it if it uh, seems like it needs feeding later today and for the teff and the King Arthur flour I'm just going to stir these ones up uh, in these containers with a sterilized spatula and call it a day. If I happen to feed these later today, I'll make a video of it, um, but I will keep you apprised of my progress. Thanks for joining me.